Robert Cassidesis was a renowned 20th century French pianist and composer. He was the most prominent member of a distinguished musical family, being the nephew of Henri Cassidesis and Marius Cassidesis, husband of Gabby Cassidesis, and father of Jean Cassidesis. The preferred pronunciation of his last name is Ka Zahdeh Su, with a silent final, S. Per live interview CA. 1970 of Robert Cassidesis by announcer Bill Agee of KKHIAM FM San Francisco during a live San Francisco Symphony concert. Mr. Cassidesis indicated that he pronounced his name as it is pronounced in Spanish, Ka Sah de Zeus, final S pronounced. Biography Robert Cassidesis was born in Paris, and studied there at the Conservatoire with Louis Diamer, taking a premier prix in 1913 and the prix Diamer in 1920. Robert then entered the class of Lucien Capet, who had exceptional influence. Capet had founded a famous quartet that bore his name and in which two of Robert's uncles played, Henri and Marcel. The quartet often rehearsed in the Cassidesis home, and so it was that Robert was exposed to chamber music. The Beethoven quartets held no secret for him, he knew them backwards and forwards. Beginning in 1922, Cassidesis collaborated with the composer Maurice Ravel on a project to create piano rolls of a number of his works. Cassidesis and Ravel also shared the concert platform in France, Spain and England. Cassidesis toured widely as a piano soloist and often performed with his wife, the pianist Gabby Cassidesis, whom he married in 1921. From 1935 Cassidesis taught at the American Conservatory at Fontainebleau. He and his family spent the Second World War years in the United States and had a home in Princeton, New Jersey. After the fall of France in 1940, Robert and Gabby established the Fontainebleau School at Newport, Rhode Island. In 1942 the Fontainebleau School was moved to Great Barrington, Massachusetts, in the Berkshires. In 1943, he performed as part of a series of New York concerts meant to raise money for the Coordinating Council of the French Relief Societies. After the war, in 1946, Robert Cassidesis, now director of the American Conservatory, oversaw its return to Fontainebleau. His pupils included Claude Helfer, Grant Johansson, Monique Haas, Mary Louise Boehm, Carol Lems Dworkin, and William Eaves, who appeared in the Cassidesis based Bell Telephone Hour Fine Arts documentary TV series, The First Family of the Piano, and was a longtime piano instructor at Bowdoin College. He continued recording and composing. His last composition, the Symphony No. 7, Israel, was a tribute to the people of Israel and was dedicated to his frequent collaborator George Zell. Zell died in the year the work was completed, 1970, and it was not premiered until shortly after Cassidesis's 1972 death, by an ensemble led by conductor Frederick Waldman at Alice Tully Hall in New York City. Robert and Gabby Cassidesis had three children, Jean, Guy and Therese. Cassidesis died in Paris, 19 September 1972, after a brief illness and only a few months after the death of his son Jean in an automobile accident. Gabby Cassidesis died in Paris on 12 November 1999. In her later years she edited the works of Ravel for G. Shermer, Inc. Legacy a product of the school of French pianism, his style of playing was classical and restrained with a very delicate approach to melody and line. He is especially noted as an interpreter of Mozart. Among his other recordings are those of the complete piano music of Ravel, and the Beethoven violin sonatas with Zeno Francescati. The Bell Telephone Hour produced a one-hour television film, in 1967, on Robert, Gabby and their son Jean, titled, The First Family of the Piano. Recordings Cassidesis was particularly known for his recordings of Mozart concertos. He recorded Mozart's Piano Concerto No. 27 in B-flat with John Barbaroli in the New York Philharmonic in 1941. Later, Cassidesis made LP recordings of a number of Mozart's piano concertos with George Zell and the Cleveland Orchestra, including Nos. 12, 15, 17, 18, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 26, and 27, often featuring his own cadenzas. Cassidesis was joined by his wife Gabby and their son Jean in recordings of Mozart's concertos for two and three pianos, accompanied by the Philadelphia Orchestra conducted by Eugene Ormandy. These recordings have been reissued on CD several times by Sony Classical. He also made recordings of four of Bach's concertos for two and three keyboards, issued by Columbia, under the batons of Eugene Ormandy, Pierre Dervaux, and Edmund de Stouts. Of Beethoven's five concertos, Cassidesis recorded the first, fourth, and fifth, the last two multiple times and the fourth with his own cadenzas. He also recorded several Beethoven sonatas, for both solo piano and for violin and piano, with his frequent recording partner Zeno Francescati. Cassidesis was also particularly known for his recordings of French repertoire by composers such as Rameau, Chabrier, Faure, Debussy, and Ravel. In 1951, Cassidesis made the first integral recording of the complete solo piano works by Ravel on three LPs for Columbia. He also recorded French works for four hands and two pianos with his wife Gabby. In addition, Cassidesis' recorded output includes works by Scarlatti, Schubert, Schumann, and Chopin, 
as well as Manuel de Fala's Nights in the Gardens of Spain. Casadesis also recorded a number of his own compositions. Critical assessment in the art of the piano. David Duval writes of Casadesis. He became the absolute French pianist, his country's finest. Casadesis embodied the qualities of Gallic balance, unforced sound, style, and precision of technique. His sound was crisp, dry, and sparkling, like a vintage champagne. Casadesis was a sophisticated musician, whose pianism was phenomenally supple. His range was wide and his use of the pedals was simply astonishing. 